I want the right to vote, is there a responsibility to be educated about the issue? Yes. Now, does that make it very unequal? No, because the capacity to get educated has to be something that the society invests in making possible for everyone. And of course, we would all be silly to not be dubious, factoring the previous history of these things. So how do we make the on-ramps to learning available for everyone, not enforced, but we're actually incentivizing? Can we use those same kind of social media behavior incenting technologies to increase everyone's desire for more rights and attendant responsibilities so that we're, there's actually a gradient of civic virtue and civic engagement? Yeah, we could totally do that. How do we utilize the new exponential technologies, the whole suite of them, to build new systems of collective intelligence, new better systems of social technology? How do you make a fourth estate that can really adequately educate everyone in a post-Facebook world? So let's say we take the attention tech that you've looked at so much that when it is applied for a commercial application is seeking to gather data to both maximize time on site and maximize engagement with certain kinds of ads and whatever. That's obviously the ability to direct human behavior and direct human feeling and thought. Could that same tech be used educationally to be able to personalize education to the learning style of a kid or to an adult to their particular areas of interest and to be able to not use the ability to control them for game theoretic purposes, but use the ability to influence them to even help them learn what makes their own center, their locus of action more internalized, right? We could teach people with that kind of tech how to notice their own bias, how to notice their own emotional behaviors, how to notice groupthink type dynamics, how to understand propaganda and media literacy. So could we actually use those tools to increase people's immune system against bad actors' use of those tools? Totally. Could we use them pedagogically in general to be able to identify rather than manufacturing desires in people or appealing to the lowest angels of their nature because addiction is profitable? Can you appeal to the highest angels in people's nature, but that are aligned with intrinsic incentives and be able to create customized educational programs that are based on what each person is actually innately intrinsically motivated by, but that are their higher innate motivators? Could we do that? Yeah, totally we could. Could we have an education system as a result that was identifying innate aptitudes, innate interests of everyone and facilitating the, their development? So not only did they become good at something, but they became increasingly more intrinsically motivated, fascinated, and passionate by life, which also meant continuously better at the thing. Well, in a world of increasing technological automation coming up, both robotic and AI automation, where so many of the jobs are about to be obsoleted, our economy and our education system have to radically change to deal with that because one of the core things an economy has been trying to do forever was deal with the need that a society had for a labor force. And that there were these jobs that society needed to get done that nobody would really want to do. So either the state has to force them to do it or you have to make it to where the people also need the job. So there's a symmetry and so kind of the market forces them to do it. So if one of the fundamental like axioms of our, all of our economic theories is that we need to figure out how to incent a labor force to do things that nobody wants to do. And emerging technological automation starts to debase that. That means we have to rethink economics from scratch because we don't have to do that thing anymore. So maybe if now the jobs don't need the people, can we remake a new economic system where the people don't need the jobs?